Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Just put some rosemary water in my hair, to be honest. Like, I, I don't really see much of a improvement, I guess. And I, I've been using it for about a week. I have been focusing it mainly on my hairline so like not throughout my hair like sometimes i'll put it like at the back of my hair or like in the like body of my hair here yeah i don't really i mean i can't really tell like that's still hairless here although i am getting like little baby hairs but i feel like i've always had them um but yeah i'm off to essentials now and then yeah, I've got work for the rest of the day. I'm not even going to know what I'm going to do with myself when I've got all this extra time before work because usually we start at 10 o'clock um, and that's like the perfect time after a 7.30 class but maybe we'll be starting at 9 o'clock. Maybe this is like a new routine. She's done it. That was a good sesh. I'm glad I got up early and did that. I feel like it's just so much easier to get up earlier in summer because the sun's already up and it's not cold. Like, we had the air con on last night because it was boiling. And even, like, this morning, like, it was just hot. So, like, you know, when you're not all cold, it makes it way easier to get up. So, maybe it might be a... It could be a thing. 6.30 sessions this summer. Um, but, yeah. I am going to go now. I'm going to go to the post office and then make some break here. Probably just make a protein shake, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to attempt... Put this gingerbread house together. I've just mixed the icing together. I've put the little sheet down. It's actually tiny, but to be honest, I just want to eat this as it is, but let's give it a go. This is all that I'm gonna do, even though it's meant to look like this. I think I put too much water in the icing because it's like really runny. I didn't have a measuring cup, so that's why it's like dripping. So I couldn't really, you know, get into detail, but I kind of just wanna eat it. So I'm just gonna eat the chimney. Do a taste test. Mmm. Yum. Hey everyone, home now. Guess what I made for dinner? I'm actually obsessed. I also got a really exciting delivery from Rat and Bawa that I ordered actually like literally two days ago. It came really fast, I've already opened it. But I will show you guys tomorrow when I'm looking a little bit more presentable and I'll try it on for you guys. But I literally tried it on today at work and ordered the exact same thing. I bought a bikini top and then like the matching skirt. I bought the exact same combo, but a different pattern because I just loved it so much. Um, but yeah, amazing. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Don't even ask me why I've got like a full face of makeup on. At 8.30 in the morning. I don't actually know why. I've got nothing to film, nothing to do. I just, I don't know. I just put some makeup on. Oh, also, look what happened to my wet brush yesterday. Like, what? This is like the best ever brush for your hair. I'm gonna have to actually, I'm gonna go on and buy another one. Like, I'll definitely go on and buy another one, but maybe not with, like, a slit down the center. Surely they've got other designs. I'm pretty sure when I um, went to buy that one, there were so many other designs, and I was, like, overwhelmed. Um, but my brush before that... Actually, I probably still have it. 
um, wasn't one like this. It was kind of, it just kind of looked like this, but it had the same bristles, like the same effect. But I was like, oh, maybe I'll just try something a bit different. I think this is part of their like eco, like eco-friendly range or whatever. I don't think you can actually get that shape brush anymore. So they've probably like recalled it or like discontinued it because of that problem. I mean, I would as well if I got so many people complaining about something. But um, yeah, crazy. Anyways. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't really have that much on today. Um, I need to clean this room. What earrings should I put on? I also need to prepare myself for the Black Friday sale. I think my other hoops are in my room. Actually, I might put a stack in. I haven't put like anything in my second, thirds and fourths, except for this one, in so long. I need to clean my room, I need to go to the post office. I've got an event on this Thursday that I still haven't got my outfit for, but surely it'll come either today or tomorrow. I'm not really that stressed. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to update you guys with today. I might go for a walk later on. Didn't go to Pilates this morning because your girl was tired from yesterday. Um, that's it. Okay, I promised to show you guys what the Rat and Boa set looks like. I just filmed a TikTok on it and I'm just like, I'm blown away. The only thing I probably would have, oh, like, I don't know, like, would I have gone a size up? Like, I know that their, like, bikini styles are more on, like, the minimal side, like, even on the models with, like, smaller boobs than me. Like, they're very small. So I feel like it still obviously fits enough of my boob to not be, like, whoa, her boobs are out kind of thing. So, like, maybe I, sh like, I don't need a size up. Like, I feel like I do like this size on me and this is a large top and then I was saying my TikTok like I'm not a skirts person like you don't really see me wearing skirts that often like I mean sometimes maybe with like an oversized um like a long sleeve linen top maybe like tucked in sort of vibe but like it's just like pants are my go-to like skirts mini skirts maxi skirts I just I don't know I feel like I just don't have I know that's like an excuse and it's stupid, but like, I feel like they're not as flattering on me than pants. That's just all. Um, but for some reason, I thought that this skirt would be more like double lined with like a zipper on the side, but it's completely like mesh. I'm just wearing like brown undies and it just does up on the side. So it just kind of like fits to your body and you can do it up like as tight or as loose as you want. I ended up getting the medium in the skirt and I'm really glad that I did because I was tossing up whether to get the large, but I feel like this is just, it's perfect. Guys, oh my freaking God. So I just got a package from Roundhouse. Um, you probably have recognized these plates before. Every single, I was just saying, because I just filmed it for stories. I was just saying every single time I walk past, I think it's David Jones. I think they stock this brand. I'm always like, I need to get those, I need to get those, but I just have never gotten around to it. Anyways, we literally have one large plate, like one big plate this size, maybe a, a little bit bigger, and then two a little bit smaller than this, and then that's all we've had. Actually, no, we've had more, but they've broken because they've just been like really cheap plates from like Kmart. Anyways, Roundhouse reached out and sent me some of their like new collection and then I got to choose some other little pieces and I am like literally obsessed. I know that mom's gonna steal these for Christmas. She's gonna reply to my stories and be like, oh my God, I'm borrowing them slash having them. She's gonna try to steal them. These are coasters. These would be like really cute little jewelry trinkets as well. I'm not gonna lie, obsessed with them. Love everything evil eye. And then these are just some like plate collections. So I think this is like the seafood collection and it comes with four plates. So we've got little crab, lobster, or is that a prawn? Probably a prawn. Yeah, that's definitely a prawn. And then these two kind of like salad-ish type bowls or whatever really. They come in a set, I'm pretty sure. And then this is part of their new collection. So it's Chow Bella. Okay, I'm not even gonna pronounce, try and pronounce that. And then a more and Tiamo, Chow Bella, which I love, I love that one. And then La Dolce, La Dolce Vita. Not even sure what that means, but it's really cute. And then I got this one and then Mamma Mia. May as well open up some other packages that I got. So this one is Naked Sunday's PR. I 
think from memory, seeing their stories, I think it's like some maybe travel. Oh no. Ah, oh, yes. It's like um, SPF makeup. So this is Glow Balm. So it's, is that highlighter? Wow. Let's give them a go. Oh yeah, they're just like a cream sort of like cream highlight sort of vibe. I have been shopping for Dubai outfits. Like I don't really need like a whole new wardrobe or anything like that, but it's just mainly for like New Year's and like Peter's birthday dinner. And like we've got like a few dinners booked that I want, I don't know, I want nice stuff for that I don't have. Um, but yeah, like I'm, pro I'm just gonna be pretty much wearing like basics basic stuff that I've got um, in my wardrobe. I just wanted to treat myself to like, you know, a few nice outfits. Anyways, I was influenced on TikTok to get this top actually. It was styled so nicely. Um, I did stuff up though, because I didn't think that this top came with a bralette for underneath it. So I bought the bralette separately. Like it was really confusing. Like I, yeah, otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought that. Um, but yeah, the actual top that I wanted came with the bralette. But I might actually keep that anyways, just because, you know, it is slightly different. Okay, so I thought this with like a, I'm still unsure on what bottoms, but like you could obviously wear this with anything, like maybe even like a nude skirt or like a white skirt, but like, look at this. I feel like it's just not doing justice. Like in real life, it is so sparkly. So it's like a mesh like tank sort of top and then it came with this like boob tube to go underneath it i actually tried it on just before and it looks really cute um but yeah that definitely comes with the top but then yeah like i said i did buy this top separate it's actually a slightly different color beige um it's this i probably really should wait for black friday sales but i'm just like really scared that like all the good stuff is just gonna be sold out instantly um, and like most newer sort of stuff don't really go on sale. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to get it because I'm going to be devastated if it's like not available anymore. Um, so yeah, they are my deliveries from today. I actually just started to rearrange my plate drawer. Well, not drawer, my plate section in my kitchen. So I've put all my plates up there that I have. Like, see, I literally only have one. And Peter uses this all the time because he obviously eats way more bigger portions than me. And then we have two plates like around the same size as that. Just gave this a clean, used some GIF because there were some marks. Um, and yeah, I will show you guys what it looks like. But this is the before. Okay, I feel like that's the best I can do. I feel like we use like these kinds of bowls and plates probably more often. They're pretty easy to take from the back and then random stuff there. Perfect. the new plate so well I just um, heated up a chef good meal and that will be my lunch how cute is my little walking outfit for this afternoon top is princess Polly stack spike pants this is I think perfect strangers I got it from Rabina and then my Crocs hello everyone happy Wednesday oh where's my necklaces one second I'm sampling this like necklace um divider so basically what you can do if you have like a layered stack is you attach all the necklaces how you want them like that and then you just kind of lift like this comes oh yep see how this comes apart and then you can put them on all together 
This is just going to be a little bit challenging because... Okay, so that has to go... Oh, okay, so it needs to go... I need to twist it. And then I've just put all three necklaces on. How good is that? I'm going to see if it actually works throughout the day. Um, because when I do wear like three necklaces, it does tend to like tangle a little bit, especially two necklaces is fine, but three, I feel like it's always the middle one that like, I don't know, tangles with the longer one, but I will definitely keep you updated on that. You might see it online. You might not. Um, yeah. Anyways, I woke up, went to punch this morning. Look at me go. And I just decided I'm going to do my hair and makeup today for no apparent reason I just feel like even though I'm not like even though some on some days when I'm not doing anything and I'm staying at home and I look like shit it just like I just feel so unmotivated whereas when I'm like done up ready I feel like I look good I feel like I just get shit done it's weird it's it's all in my head but I feel like some people can relate to that like if you look like shit you don't have a cute fit on and you're meant to be doing something. You're just like, well, what's the point? I just made a protein shake. About to go into the warehouse now and pack all of your chili, huggies. So much stuff restocked, like the everyday necklaces, the chili stuff, daisy huggies, which I've got in. Daisy Huggies, Daisy Threaders. These aren't the Daisy Threaders. These are the Paris. Um, what else do we have? Camilla Pearl Necklaces. They're back in stock. Anyways, a lot of things did restock on the website. Um, but yeah, that is all. But yeah, I'll show you guys the fit. So this is just a top that I got from Zara in Europe. And then I'm just wearing these like linen sort of shorts. I got them before. Wait, no, I've had them for ages actually. Um, they're from Cotton On. They're so comfortable. I think I'm going to grab another pair before we go to Dubai because I literally lived in these in Europe and they got filthy. No matter how many times I try to wash them, they were like filthy. So I actually like bleached them <laughs> again so they were white because they were like turning kind of yellow just from like tan and sweat. It was just disgusting. So I feel like I need a new pair. Um, but yeah, Cotton On. I also want to get some more like basic flowy pants and stuff like that just because I feel like I'll be living in stuff like that in Dubai. So I only really have like one pair that I always wear and they're also from Cotton On. Um, I might actually wait for their Black Friday sale next week and see if they've got any sales. I've been like trying to hold off from buying clothes, but I just feel like all the good stuff are never on sale. So annoyed if Rat and Boa went on sale, but I just feel like they probably wouldn't go on sale. But anyways, I'll be buying the whole website if they go on sale because I'm obsessed with that set. I can't wait for the next set to arrive. So I'll show you guys when that comes. But yeah, I've been like kind of holding off from buying random stuff that I just know that's just going to be on sale. So I might just wait till next week. And yeah. Whoa, I'm in the warehouse before live today. We also, I don't know if I've mentioned it on my vlog, but we're also... Um, doing christmas gift wrapping um and you can choose that at the checkout if you wish but look how cute this paper is i don't have the example yeah no i don't have the example but they are so so cute but yeah cute little addition to check out and then you get one of these as well so you can write a little note on the back hello lesson today well not a boxing lesson just like boxing session um I used to go with Lottie but she 
like the owner of essentials but i think she's like a little bit busy at the moment plus she's pregnant so i still have really like i really do enjoy doing boxing especially one-on-one -on -one. so i have decided to start it up again with someone new um and because it's like not a boxing studio i've had to go out and buy my own boxing gloves look at me go love the red um and then i also got wrist wraps as well because i feel like sometimes at essentials because we don't wear wrist wraps i don't know my wrists especially when we like do in between stuff like push-ups or stuff on our wrists like in between punches like they get a bit sore so i feel like i'm gonna um use those in like essentials classes as well um what was i gonna get Oh yeah, I was going to get some rosemary water one second. I was also saying on my story, I don't know if this has really helped, but I feel like, you know, stuff like this doesn't just happen overnight. Like my hair's not going to grow two centimetres in a week. Just like when I use like um, the hair and energy tablets, like my, I didn't notice my hair straight away. Like it, I think it took like maybe two, three months until of like consistently using it to really notice um, my hair and it's like my hair is so thick and long I feel like this is how it was before I started losing weight the side effect of losing weight is hair loss um, especially when you're continuously losing weight and my hair oh my god especially when I was yeah losing a lot of weight it just fell out like it was uh, even my mom was like what has happened to your hair like I was like I literally have no idea um, although I was getting like extensions and I was getting, what's that thing that they permanently do to straighten your hair? Like that. I feel like that, oh, my hair, I regret doing that so much. Like I did, I literally have straight hair when I brush it and it dries, air dries. Like I've never really had like really curly hair. So why have I done that? I feel like that really fucked the health of my hair. Um, so definitely do not recommend it, especially if your hair is like pretty much already straight. Fair enough, it was curly and you um, like got over styling it, but I don't even know like why I did it. Probably because it was free. Like I did it like how many years ago now? A long time ago, but fucking hell. The shit I would do and not really like think about anything just because I was getting a free treatment. You don't even want to know what I was freaking doing. I was considering getting, I'm not, I don't even over sweat. I was considering getting armpit injections so I didn't have to sweat. I was like, mum was like, are you like, okay? I was like, what do you mean? It's like a really expensive procedure. Why wouldn't I want to sweat? Yeah. So mum was like, no, you like need help. And I'm pretty sure they were going to pay me as well to do it. And mum was like, no, that is really unnecessary. Like you don't even overly sweat. And I was like, okay, <laughs> which is true. I don't, I don't even know why I was thinking about it. Anyways. Okay. Hair's done out of my face. I just need to put socks and shoes on, but this is the fit. I got a bunch of new, um, oh, I will show you guys what I got in the mail actually. I did post a TikTok, but I got a few things from Glam Raider. I've been seeing this brow gel. I'm actually gonna try it now. Um, on TikTok, this girl that I follow, <sighs> can't remember her name, but she's from the UK. Oh shit. I follow a lot of like UK people on TikTok. But um, yeah, she always uses this and her brows are like incredible. I need to get them done though. They're like really hairy. I think I need like water or something. Okay, it's got like a hole in it. Alright. Let's see. I don't know if this is like working. I mean, yeah, it works. But I feel like um, all brow soaps kind of like really work. I'll try and give you an up close. She, she does this all the time, like goes down and then 
up. Like, I mean, it works. Yep. I also got some more freck, which I've probably already lost because I'd lost my other one. No, I've literally already lost it. You're joking. Oh no, it's here. Thank God. Um, yeah, this is really good for faux freckles. That's what it's called. It's tiny and very easy to lose. Um, yeah, really good for faux freckles. I'm obsessed with putting them on. Okay, let's put on some concealer. The other packages that I got were mainly clothing. Um, and I uploaded a TikTok unboxing it. So if you want to have a look at that, head to my TikTok. Oh, I forgot to put this on. Um, yeah, it's just the best. Like, my face feels all tight. Um, in saying that, though, I'm actually going and getting my lips done tomorrow. It's been... When did I get them done? Like, before Europe, I got them done, which was in July. Did we go in July? Or June? Yeah. So, like, just under six months ago. So I'm going to go get a little top up. I feel like, yeah, my lips just need a little bit of plumping, you know? I'm actually a bit nervous, to be honest. You know, like, going to a new place, meeting a new person. Actually, no, he's not a new person. He used to train me at F45 years ago. So I know who he is, at least. But it's just like, you know, just new things is a bit scary. Even though boxing isn't new to me, but you know what I mean. Um, okay, that is all. Hi, let's go. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah. Sunny days. Yeah. That was actually so hard. Like, I didn't, like, I knew there was a lot of footwork involved in boxing, but just not that much footwork. God. Like, I feel like I'm, like, just starting again like learning how to box all over again just because I didn't really focus too much well on footwork really like a little bit in Lottie's class but not to that extent like I feel like it's a whole new level of boxing yeah I'm gonna go home now freshen up and then I've got an event today so I'll show you guys that too <laughs> everyone happy friday i'll show you guys what i'm wearing because i'm actually obsessed with this stack dress also look what the post office gave me i went to go pick up some parcels and they gave me a whole sack full of parcels and i swear i picked up parcels yesterday and i only had one unless they all just came today anyways this is that stacks dress what do you mean I actually am wearing one of those skims. Um, it's like the shapewear, but it's in like the bike pants version. It's actually Riley's because I borrowed it yesterday. So I've got this exact one in black in my size. I think I ended up getting large to extra large or medium to large. I can't remember, but it is so tight. Like it's a joke. Like I literally feel like I can't breathe. Like, yes, it snatches me. Yes, I probably look half the size, but it's just uncomfortable. Like I literally just can't wait to take it off. So I never wear it. Anyways, Riley um, let me borrow hers yesterday for the event because I wore this underneath my dress from One Mile, which I 
I'm sorry I didn't vlog actually I didn't even really show you guys my full outfit I was just so busy but um this is hers and it's the biggest size I think it's 4x to 5x and I think I'm gonna actually buy it because it just like it's still a bit compressive but it's not like fully sucking me in that I like can't breathe I may even get the size under so I think 3x to 4x but yeah I just don't really like things like super super tight this dress is so nice obviously I had to wear the matching bolero anyways let's see what I got right right and boa yeah that came so quick oh my god my new hairbrush from Oz Hair and Beauty because yeah I told you guys that my wet brush broke so I just bought a different design and what else do we have Jagger and Stone this one's heavy Lorna Jane Not sure what brand that's from some small business i might film a tiktok and then after i've unboxed everything i will um show you guys everything that i got i feel like i haven't shown you guys our new gift wrapping option for christmas how freaking cute is this wrapping paper i'm obsessed and then you get the little gift tag you can either leave a note which we will hand right behind i'm not going to show you because it's a personal message and then yeah little ribbon so cute so you can like either give it to them like that or you can buy a little gift bag or whatever but yeah a couple of people have selected that option super cute okay i just opened all my parcels how cute is this i'm not sure if i would wear it together I had envisioned wearing it together, but I'm just, I'm not sure if like the rainbow clashes with the zebra, like too much zebra. Like I feel like just like a plain, even just like a black flowy skirt or pants would look really nice with this. Like I did actually get some stuff from Jagger and Stone, which I'll try on. I got some like Terry toweling pants. I'll try these on with it, but so nice. And I think... When I first put this on, I was like, oh, is that a little bit too small? Just because I really like my pants, like a bit more like oversized, like more relaxed. But this is a medium and I would say like it fits like snug kind of on me. Like it's not big. It is nice. Then I got another wet brush. This time I feel like this one won't break because it's not like in two separate columns where it can snap. It actually does feel quite sturdy and not like flimsy so i'm happy to have that back because the tangle teaser just isn't it um i got these cute christmas pajamas from a small business called envy co and they actually sent peter a matching pair of pants so i've got this and then the pant are uh, the short and then they sent peter these how cute obsessed I got a bunch of stuff from lorna jane i actually really love these pieces this with a matching crop. My code still works, by the way, for in-store and in-line for 20% off. It's just Jazz20. Yeah, whenever you're in-store and you're at the checkout, just say, can I use a discount code? And that wasn't an ad. I am an affiliate, though. Um, well, so technically it was an ad, but yeah, I do make a small commission if you use my Lana Jane codes. Okay, lastly, I got this cute little top that was kindly gifted from Seven Sundays. We hope you love our clothing line. We are such big fans of you and Jazz Handmade. We look forward to your weekly vlogs. So cute. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to get my lips done in a couple of hours. But yeah, that is all. Okay, I just finished at my lip appointment and Botox appointment. Um, yeah, this is them.
they'll look obviously so much more natural once they've settled why is there like lines on my screen okay i think that's better um yeah they will look definitely a lot better in like a couple of weeks when they've settled um but i've just pulled up at barker's she's made one of my favorite dishes um and obviously to see everyone so yeah not sure if i vlog in there but i don't think she'll notice my lips she never does Which one's the yellow one? That is. Yeah. More. Oh, this one, look. Yeah, that one's yeah. the nice one. Which one's the nice one? Thanks. Morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. We're just at the beach. Oh. Um, putting some sunscreen on. Thought I'd show you guys my lips. Obviously, they're still swollen. Um, but they'll settle within like two weeks. But yeah, I just love the way she does it. I think she does like a the Russian technique. So like her needle is like, it goes like this into the lips. It's really interesting actually. And she, yeah, she really takes her time with it. Like this took her an hour to do my lips. That's how like precise she is. Um, but yeah, I always, this is the third time I've gotten them done. Um, after getting them dissolved and I yeah I really love how she does them I'm gonna go for a walk and then we're gonna go to the warehouse to prepare the website for Black Friday because if you're a part of our VIP list um, and signed up for that you'll get an email tomorrow night so you can shop before everyone else on Monday so that's what we're doing today just finished our walk oh my god that's so blinding Anyways, I got fish bowl for lunch. Yum. So good. It's not much ever on there. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm just getting ready. We're about to go to the Hota. Was it Hota? Hota Market? Yeah, that sounds better. I'm just about to do my makeup. These are my lips. Second day post treatment. Still obviously swollen. I've got a little bit of bruising like on the inside of my lips, but yeah, they will obviously settle. But yeah, I do look a little bit crazy today. Um, yeah, my skin's looking really nice today. I might be getting a treatment um, with Irina who does my lips. Oh yeah, by the way, I go to, I don't know if I mentioned, I did uh, tag them on my Instagram, but I go to... Um, a cosmetic injector called Irina. She doesn't really have a business name. Like her Instagram is just aesthetic nurse Irina. I will leave it down below. The way I found her was through my eyebrow tattooing lady, Sabina, who is on the Gold Coast as well, um, in Oasis Shopping Center. No, well, just, just outside, kind of where the um, Oasis Dental place is, like opposite the shopping center, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I was recommended to her by Sabina because I asked. And yeah, she works like in a little space from her clinic. And yeah, she's just amazing. She, if you go on her Instagram and look at her before and afters, like amazing. Like she's literally transformed people with absolutely no lips into looking like they've got lips. There's so many transformations that I've seen that just look fake. Whereas her work after obviously like shit settled that it, my lips don't look fake. Like when my lips settled last time, they settled so nicely, they didn't look fake. So anyways, as I was saying, she does a treatment which is um, only new and it was only TJ approved like three months ago in Australia called, it's like Profilo, Profilo or something like that. And it's basically like hyaluronic acid injections into your skin. For those that don't know what hyaluronic acid is, I've got it actually here in like a serum form. Um, and it's just for hydration. Like I, I use it every day and night because otherwise my skin just looks like dull and well, not dry, but like just like almost scaly, like not healthy and glowy looking. Um, and yeah, she's got this treatment where you physically inject it into like six areas of the face and like the results she was showing me. It literally looked like a whole new person, like just a brighter, glowier, um, 
like overall complexion. I don't know how long it lasts. I think she said it's kind of like the same as getting Botox. Like it does obviously wear off and you have to keep like getting it done. Um, but yeah, I really want to try that treatment out because she definitely sold it to me with all um, her before and afters and stuff like that. So I feel like I should do that like before Dubai, like next month or something like that. Although like my skin is looking so freaking nice and plump and hydrated. Um, I was just looking back at my vlog, like even at the beginning of the vlog, like my skin, like it just looked like it didn't look bad, but it just looked textured and just not glowing and bright even after I put on sunscreen like I think that was even after I put on sunscreen um or did my morning skincare like it just looked dull and I don't know like just something about it like compared to now like I feel like my skin looks really really good today like really hydrated really glowy um but yeah anyways I've got one minute left on this memory card so I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and I will BRB and put a new memory card in Okay, so we bought this pasta today from, what's it called? I love, I love no, it's called, no, Harris Farm Markets. Um, it's like fresh pappardelle. Is that how you say it? Oh, I'm crying, dude. <laughs> I know, I was crying when I was um, cutting them. Anyways, I'm just going to make the whole batch and then split it up into a few meals and make some pastas for lunches and dinners over the next couple days. But yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Spinach in. Yeah, the pasta also looks really good. Okay, taste test. I think I may have overcooked the pasta though. Mmm, yeah. It's a little bit soft, but probably yeah, shouldn't have. No, I like it a bit al dente. Like a bit hard. I love al dente. It's still really yum though. Mm. 